Hi, Logdog321 here for MacBin.com, and today we're going to be unboxing and taking a first look at the Shark Rocket Vacuum. Now, as you can see here, the Shark Rocket is a uh, new form factor, and Shark says that this cleans better than a full-size Dyson. And I can show you. They say that right here on the box. Let's make sure you can get that. And yes, you can. And it says, and I quote, deep cleans carpets better versus a full-size Dyson, all the power without the weight. Um, well, let's take a look at it and take a look at the review to see how it actually performs in real life. So let's uh, pull open the flaps here. Congratulations, thank you for choosing Shark Rocket. And All right, let's scoot this over. Uh, remember to rinse and dry your filters every month. What's inside? Alright, check us out. Go to sharkrocket.com. Uh, floor to ceiling cleaning. Special offers. Alright, so they want to sell me stuff. I haven't even pulled it out of the box. Alright. Well, here we go. We got some documentation. We're going to put this off to the side. We have crevice tool. Now, once again, we're going to show each of these in a moment. I'm just pulling these out of the box. Um, our wand here. Oh, this feels like a plasticky. Feels like it might be metal, though. We'll find out later. Um, microfiber pad. Storage bag. Um, Multi tool. A uh, wide brushless tool, two foam ears. We're going to put these off to the side. A piece of cardboard that uh, divides it up. The cleaning head. And then the base itself. Oh, but wait, there's more. We pull out the last piece of cardboard. And here it is. We have the dust away attachment. Now, after I put the piece of cardboard back in the box, I will be explaining what each of these is. Uh, that. There we go. And now that that's out of the way, let me lay all these out so you can see what comes in the box. Now this is the package that Target sells, so uh, the nice thing about Shark, well nice or not nice depending on how you look at it, is every single store has a different configuration. But this is the Target package, and let me move that over a little bit so you guys can see. And there we go. So let's pull these things out of the box, or out of the packages. So here we go, we have the base. And the first things I notice is a switch right here on the top for controlling power. The grip here is nice and rubberized, so it looks like it, uh, and certainly feels like it won't be too hard to hold on to. Uh, filter up here, and you can see big letters, clean monthly. But uh, let's put this off the side after I take the cord out of the bag. That's taped on, so let me grab my handy dandy unboxing knife. And if I can get this off. There we go. There we close enough, I'll get that off later. Put all the bags back over here in the box, and that's out. Next we have this bag, and I don't think I'll be using that for now, so let's put that off to the side. Next we have this uh, tool right here. I'm not sure what they call it. I haven't looked at their official names. But this is a nice wide tool without any brushes. So let's put that off to the side. A 
empty tool and it's, oh, it's rotatable. And does the brush come off? Okay, so unlike some shark vacuums, oh, it does, it pops off. So you have this nice narrow tool right here and it rotates. So it can either go 180 or 90. It's more of a 45, but whatever. Um, and that clips, if I can get it right, into this brush. So you have a nice brush there. We'll see how well that cleans. A crevice tool here. It's a pretty long crevice tool, as you can see. But uh, put that with the rest of the stuff. The wand here. As you can see, that is an electrified wand, so the head down there does have power going to it, which, as you know, is a very good thing if you try to clean carpets. Um, let's just get the head itself since it's right here. This is their rocket orange color, and as soon as I put the packaging down, here you go. Now, as you can see, it has their swivel steering head. So it turns, and then it doesn't do much swiveling. We will see, they say it's got swivel steering, so. Uh, the wheels are held on pretty loosely, as you can hear by that. But uh, we will see. Uh, new roller style, they went chevron on this. Let's see, never loses suction or power. So long as you clean the filter, they forgot to add that part on. Here's the dust away. And as you can see, it's articulated like that. And there's the microfiber pad that we'll pull out of the box in a second. They also have the wall mount over there, but since I'm probably not going to mount this thing to the wall, I'm not going to take that out of the bag. And here is the dust away. That's a very, very soft microfiber right there. That is nice and pillowy. It's like most, it's, uh, how do I say it? The mo more pillowy than most steam mop pads, if that uh, gives you any indication. But let's drop this and let's plug it in and see how it works, shall we? So for now, I'm going to put the dust away, the pad, and then the paraphernalia off to the side. Oh, and then also all the attachments, and I'm just going to start doing a little carpet cleaning and seeing how this thing uh, performs straight out of the box. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to undo the cord wrap, pull the cord out, and take off the little safety holder thingy. Alright, now it's plugged in. We're going to attach the wand. Let's see, does this have a, yes it does. And we're gonna put it right here on the base. There we go. And let me, you guys can see it. All right, let's turn it on and see how it rolls. thing that came to my mind there. This thing is really, really light. It is also really easy to push, too. It's practically self-propelled on this carpet. Um, we'll see how it does later. But, uh, wow, that was, that was super light. It really... All right, let me compose my thoughts here. So, they took a page out of Dyson's book here, and they put a lot of the heavy stuff in the handle. Um, as you could see, if you look for some videos on the Dyson DC44, it put all the heavy stuff up here so that you can pivot it. 
Well, that certainly worked for uh, Shark here. We'll see with Dyson, because I'm getting a Dyson DC44, I believe, uh, sometime next week. But they, it, uh, very easy to push, turn. It is a little bit squirrely. It does tend to get away from you very easily. But another thing that's nice about this, you can just hang it right there. Yeah, you guys can see that. Let me adjust so you guys can see it better. So it stores right there, and it's not going to tip over if I hit it. Just fine. And when I'm ready to go again, click in. I am a little bit worried about uh, whether it cleans or not, but that's what the testing is for before the review. So yes, this has been an unboxing and first look at the Shark Rocket Vacuum Cleaner. Check out the review, and it, uh, it should be on my channel, or probably in the suggested videos. So, if you go down to the bottom of this, though, you're going to see my website, vacbin.com, where you can read my full write-up and see all the videos associated with the Shark Rocket. This has been Logdog321 for vacbin.com. Thanks for watching.